Today we're going to show you how to set up the Godox Lite mobile app together with the LED tube light. When opening the app, this is the first screen you will see. You can log in here, or if this is your first time, create an account. You will see Demo Studio, but I'm going to ignore it. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see a plus icon. Let's click it, and we'll add a new studio. You can rename it to what you want and create multiple studios for different projects. Now tap on the new studio you just made to enter it. Here you will see the headings, group and lights. The idea here is to create different groups and in each group you can add multiple lights. These will stay available to you each time you open the app. Click on the edit icon on the bottom left. You can create a new group and then name it. Once you're done, click OK. Tap the add icon on the top right corner to add your lights. With the light turned on, you will see your fixture as a connectable device. We're going to select it and tap confirm. Now the light has been added, tap the back icon. Your light is now listed here and you can turn it on or off using the icon on the right. You can add multiple lights to the group so you can turn them on or off together or still adjust them individually. In the group you can also remove a light and it shows here again. To return to your groups and lights, tap the device list icon. Tap scene control on the bottom right. It will show you all the different modes you have available. We're going to start with the RGBW mode first. Color gamut. By default the intensity is set to zero. You can use the slider to control brightness. Use the picker to choose the color you like. The lower the more saturated. Tap the arrow to show your RGBW and intensity values. Tap RGBW. The intensity slider here is the same as before, but now you can adjust the red, green, blue and white separately. In this mode you can also click the number boxes at the top and enter the values you want. This gives you opportunity to set the colour more precisely. Tap the mode button on the bottom right and you will see the different modes listed. Now we can go into HSI. Again, by default, the intensity is set to zero. HSI gives you a colour wheel and you can just drag this around. The further away from the centre you are, the more saturated it will be. And you can see that reflected in the saturation display. The hue changes as you move around the circle. When you click H or S, you can dial the exact value, which is sometimes useful to get a very precise adjustment. Now let's look at CCT. Just as before, intensity is set to zero by default. Let's set it to 51. You can use the color slider to set color temperature from 2500K to 8500K. Drag your finger across the control to adjust as required. Alternatively, you can press the plus or minus icon for 100K incremental adjustments. You can also tune magenta and green tint here. And as before, tap the top arrow to see an overview of your settings. 
Now let's jump to the gel filter mode. You will see here that there are three tabs across the top, Roscoe, Lee and Custom. Under the Roscoe tab, you can choose different colored gel presets. Each gel you can adjust the hue, saturation and brightness. In Lee, similar to Roscoe, you can choose different color gel presets and adjust to taste. Now let's move to the effects tab. This is our creative section for when making videos. You will see different effects available and right here we are using the RGB cycle. You can adjust the intensity. These effects have up to three modes built into control speed. One being the slowest and three being the fastest. Select the firework mode to create realistic effect of fireworks. Now let's jump into music mode. This is another fun one you can use. There is a microphone built into the side of your light. This is a very cool effect for your light to match the music and is a great way to enhance your filmmaking. Other effects include flash, laser, TV, and more. Let's go back to the list. We have a really great option here, the color picker. You can use any images from your phone, or you can take a new photo with your phone camera. Use your finger to pick any color from the image. You can see a preview of that color in the box at the top. Your light will replicate the color selected. This is really great if you want to copy another light source or recreate colors from previous shots. You can just find that image and pick a color. Tap the device list icon. To return to your groups and lights, Use the update icon in the top right hand corner to help you keep your app up to date. Here's another great feature. Once you've created all your settings, you can go back to the device list. There is an import and export button on the top right. Tap export and you can save the scene we've just created. You can also upload to the cloud if you've created an account. Great for backup. If we delete all the lights and the groups we've just created and then tap the import button, you will find the scene we just saved, tap import and everything comes back. You can take it a step further and share your setup with other people using a QR code. Just tap the icon and it will generate it for you. Now I'm going to show you how to control multiple lights with different groups. Here I have set up five lights and deleted all the settings we've just made. You'll see under Studio 2, it now shows zero groups and zero lights. Let's enter Studio 2. Tap Edit on the bottom left and create two groups. Click Add on the top right. Our five lights are already on, so we can see that they are all listed. Select all to add all the lights at once. Each light has its own name. In this tutorial, we have TL60 12A0. TL60 D162, TL60 D0, TL60 93A8, and TL60 EC8B. Then go to Group 1 and tap Add. 
we will add two lights to group one and three lights to group two. You can control them all on and off by using groups. Or if you enter any of the groups, you can control the lights individually. Now let's go back to device list. Now enter group one and you can control all the lights in the same group. Try different modes, CCT mode or HSI mode. Enter group two and try an FX mode like RGB cycle. We hope this video has been helpful and look forward to seeing what you create with Godox lights. Be sure to follow Godox on Facebook and YouTube for new product announcements and videos. Thanks for watching.